Well, Why? the result of 1977, when we had those huge events, we were just left with nothing. And you've seen the photos of the property today. And we just started planning because it was the only way to go. We had no other option, really. And then I got so involved with the regional council, and they were so helpful. And we were putting in lots of poles every year. Like we were putting in 800 poles a year. We did it for 15 years, and then we sort of slowed down a little bit. We were putting in a couple of hundred. Really replacing the earlier plantings and the gullies. Well, not replacing, but just repairing the areas we hadn't been able to get at. And so we actually been quite successful just lately because we have gone from the valley floor to the top of the hill. So how would you compare, what words would you use or how would you compare what it looked like after 77 and what it looks like to drive around now? Well someone said to me after 77 it looked like a squadron of, of bombers had gone through and just bombed the whole place because it really was shocking. What it looks like now, um, I'm proud to say it looks, um, I think it looks very very nice and um, to see in the heat of the day, cattle sitting or sheep sitting in the shade, enjoying themselves, just chewing their cut, nice fresh water in the water troughs, that was the ultimate to me. That was, uh, that was when I really realised we'd, we'd hit it, we'd nailed it. And in 2006 we had another major event, and the only irrigation, the, uh, the only erosion we had on the farm was where the trees, above where the trees had stopped. So by planting the, from the top of the original plantings to, to the top of the hill, that was all just going right around. It was just eroded, but now it's all planted as well. So now it looks good. 